Hey, what's up? So, the uh, crank style rosin press broke yesterday. It stripped. The piece that the main thread goes through, this thing, stripped. Now, I could have replaced this with some other metal. Probably got a little more, another year out of it, maybe. I'm really getting tired of cranking this fucker. It's exhausting. So, I got this 12 ton shop press at an auction for cheap. And here's the heat plates. This took me a day. It, it took me part of yesterday and part of today. So, and you gotta be a little crafty to do it. I had to drill a little bit. I had to drill into this to get these screws in. This plate used to be on the bottom of the machine. Um, I replaced that with a piece of sheet metal. Just drilled some holes for the screws. Um, let's see, here was the original piece. I used two of the bolts for spacers and then the original bolts. I had to drill into this, which Took a little bit. It was actually not very hard metal. I'm surprised. This right here is just temporary because I got Gorilla Glue in here because the screw didn't thread properly. Figure it's not too permanent, but that's cool with me. I don't know if these are permanent yet. Um, some of my difficulties were these getting this properly centered. I had to drill these holes in this corner and these corners a little bit bigger. So that I can move it around. Wasn't that big of a deal. And then there's this janky setup. Um, that's the rest of the machine. I got it held on with a bungee. I got this piece of wood there just in case. Because it's a little... I got one screw in here. To hold it up. But I drilled a hole in the front. And the box is too small. So that's what happened there. I'm probably going to figure something else out for that because when I use my pre-press in this, I'm going to have to unhook the cables in order to get it up high enough safely without wearing the cables out over time. Uh, I'll do another video when I do a press.